<laughs> Hello, everybody. I am Christy with Christy's Craft Room. I'm not. That's my husband, Tim. He hangs out here in the craft room with me. We're gonna craft right now, though. We're gonna craft. We have a whole bunch of Dollar Tree stuff here, and I think we're going to attempt to make a cute little birdhouse. We're gonna have fun today. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna craft. We're gonna laugh. We're gonna maybe a do a little dancing. Going on. We're gonna craft with little two cute. of these little wood birdhouses or wood house shapes from Dollar Tree. And then I'm gonna use two of these little frames from Dollar Tree. I've got a variety of ribbons, all from Dollar Tree. Um, a bunch of different ribbons and some twine. And we got some paint. I'm gonna start with start. my Seaside Villa. It's like a fun little, like a sea, sea foam green kind of color. That's fun, that's fun. Let me grab my scissors. scraper and then we're just gonna drag it across and we're gonna put scrap of paper on one side all right we're gonna dry this we're gonna use our iron technique I got my iron plugged in it's nice and warm so now this is dry our, our Mod Podge is dry so now we're gonna put our paper on like so we're gonna put a little piece of parchment paper, which is the same piece I've used multiple, multiple times. You can reuse it over and over and over again. Let that cool a second, and then we're gonna use our sandy block and just trim up the edges and distress her a little bit. And we'll do, we'll kind of do both sides together, just so we can get a good and square fit first. Now we're going to take some Waverly Wax and we're going to add some Distressy. I've taken some Waverly Wax and I'm just going to kind of go at it. I'm going to have some paper towel here handy. Oh, how cute! Terry, just... Look how cute! 